Hi guys, I just picked up this Harbor Freight Princess Auto Power Fist heavy duty service cart. i um, looking to use it when I'm working on my cars and stuff to uh, just keep the tools in parts in that I don't have them rolling around. Um, sometimes I'm working down in the lower shop or driveway or other times I'm up in the top of the barn. So just having this little cart to keep track of everything, um, I think should be pretty good. It was about 80 bucks Canadian at Princess Auto. So I'll unbox it, put it together and show you guys how I've done it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, the first thing I've noticed is that there really are no instructions. There's just an exploded parts diagram. Um, so you're kinda gonna have to figure it out as you go. All the hardware comes pre together. Um, carriage bolts, flat washers, lock washers, and a nut. Each one's already all together. Learning from my mistakes, first thing you want to do is make sure you snap the handle into the top tray. Second, use the uh, three screws and screw those in on the, to hold the legs to the top tray and then finish off with the bottom. Um, I made the mistake and I made it a lot harder on myself. I did it backwards, um, but if you make sure you have the casters on the handle side Put the handle on first to the top tray, screw the legs to the top tray, flip it upside down, and then add the uh, wheels and bolt down the bottom one. So after putting this together once, you can see I've now taken it apart. A um, couple things I didn't realize that you should probably put the legs, screw them into the top tray before you assemble the bottom one and the wheels, um, just in order to get everything to fit properly. I recommend dry fitting it together once because these base plates are specific to position on the bottom tray. So if you get it all assembled on the top tray and you go to put the bottom tray on, you might not have the stuff in the right spot. So dry fit it, make sure you know which leg goes where and then you can start screwing it to the top tray. Each leg is held in position with a Roberts screw. So uh, get it in position and there's three screws that go on the bottom of each one. And there's a peg on the bottom you just had to line up. There we go. So when you put it in, make sure the leg's on the outside of the tray. And you can screw them in. Side, push it in, pop in a screw. I'll finish screwing these in off camera and then I'll move on to the top with the legs. I recommend starting them with a hand screwdriver and then you can run them in once you get them started. Just uh, be sure not to over tighten them and strip them out. Okay, those are all down. Now I can put the top back on. Track in the groove here and on the back side. And you just push down in. Okay. Let's line it up. together much better. Now we just got to start assembling the wheels. So you want to make sure you're putting the steerable casters at the right spot. Okay, 
make sure these are lined up well. There. Now they're on. And then you can see on this end here, there's a spot for the handle to click in. So just when you're making sure, you want the steerable casters at the handle end. We have the two steerable casters. Pop them on the top. Take your carriage bolts, flat washer, lock washer, and nut, and feed them up through the bottom. Carriage bolt up through, flat washer, lock washer. Okay, spin it around. Okay, we're on to the last one. Okay, that finishes off the last one. Now we're just going to tighten them back up with the impact driver. Make sure that the carriage bolt's seated from uh, the bottom. Flip it over. And now we just have to put on this piece. It appears the leg is which is what holds this on. So, third attempt. You guys are lucky I'm doing this for you. So I'm just going to try to pop this end out, unscrew these three on the bottom, and see if I can't pop it in that way. All right, so that's it finished. You got a spot for your coffee cup even, which is kind of neat. So I would say it feels good and sturdy. Steers well. And underneath here, you got a little uh, spot for paper towels. So all in all, it wasn't too bad to put together. Um, I had to put it together a couple different times because I didn't do it right the first time. So learning from my mistakes, first thing you want to do is make sure you snap the handle into the top tray. Second, use the uh, three screws and screw those in on the to hold the legs to the top tray and then finish off with the bottom um, i made the mistake and i made it a lot harder on myself i did it backwards um, but if you make sure you have the casters on the handle side put the handle on first to the top tray screw the legs to the top tray flip it upside down and then add the uh wheels and bolt down the bottom one. All in all, went together really well. It's sturdy. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Laugh at me for uh, my struggles on this one. Um, and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Thanks a lot for watching.